Well, this morning we'd like to uh, dedicate a piece of uh, furniture here in the uh, sanctuary. I'm calling forth uh, uh, Pastor Heidi and Pastor Steve. Um, if you'll remember, Pastor Steve uh, preached when I had pancreatitis that one Sunday. And what did he say the only thing he had to remember was? See, you did a good job. And so uh, if you can remember that, I'm jealous, you know, if, if but um, it, in that particular way, if you come afterwards, if you want to look at this, this um, is a hand-blown bowl that we're going to be putting the water in. It has Matthew 28 in gold leaf around here. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And in fact, the next seven weeks, I'm going to have a uh, preaching series about what does it mean to go and help people find their lives in a world that so desperately needs to find their lives. So we're going to pray about this. We're going to read a, a few scriptures here this morning. So my friends, today we give thanks to God and we seek God's blessings as we set apart this new baptismal font to the glory of God. And reading select verses from Psalm 29. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The glory of the Lord thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. O Lord, give strength to your people. Give them, O Lord, the blessings of peace. And a reading from 2 Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us now give thanks for the gift of baptism. Let us pray. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the waters of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ was baptized in the Jordan River, bless and hollow this font which we dedicate to your service. Remind us each time we gather around it to baptize one of your beloved that this is the source of our identity, the location of our unity in you, and the gateway to eternal life. And let us finally pray, Triune God, bless this new baptismal font, which we set apart today. May these material things of your creation, shaped by human hands, draw our hearts to you and your everlasting promise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. So I give you your new baptismal font, and we're going to finally have baptisms. First one is scheduled in November at this worship service. I know that will shock you at this, that particular time, but uh, that'll be great for us to have that. So um, I hope uh, after worship today you come and uh, be gentle with our new baptismal font because it is blown glass. So, um, but uh, it will be up here, probably off a little bit over here because after worship we have a tendency to uh, exercise in the sanctuary, at least some of our younger ones as they make their way around uh, the room. So thank God for our new gift.